Liverpool's two-week Christmas break thanks to Covid was perhaps welcome after three straight defeats, but they didn't look rusty or short of confidence. 18 minutes in, a Malik Wilkes cross found its way to Haki Badelikan for a routine finish, followed by a flamboyant celebration. Hull boss Grant McCann had freshened up his well-rested lineup with six changes from the team beaten here by Portsmouth a fortnight ago. And Wilkes in particular looked well up for it. Chris Gunter relieved to see his deflection drift wide. And from the resulting corner, the whole Charlton defence was grateful. Tom Eaves given time to find George Honeyman, who couldn't locate the net. The visitors' best first-half contribution came from Jake Forster Kasky, getting George Long involved on his first league appearance of the season. The Addicts didn't have a great Christmas either with a couple of draws before a midweek postponement and their hopes of a comeback here were dented by an eagle-eyed assistant who spotted an off-the-ball kick at Wilkes that everyone else missed. Darren Prattley, the guilty party, and once referee Martin Coy had been put in the picture, the veteran was heading for another period of inactivity. But Hull took their time about finishing off the 10 men, less than 15 minutes left when Keane Lewis Potter's cross should have seen Wilkes complete his busy afternoon with a goal. Instead, Honeyman was composed and Greg Doherty was emphatic. This was a championship fixture last season with both managers continuing after relegation. On this showing, McCann's outfit have a better chance of an instant return than Lee Bowyer's. Brandon Fleming couldn't improve the scoreline, but the Tigers look to have got their bite back. Feats in a row, knock them off top spot. And then they haven't played again since, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago now. Yeah. And then to go and get a clean sheet with a young back line, very inexperienced back line, um, to then win the game 2 0. Huge victory for those, uh, for them. Uh, Adelican with a, a, an important goal here. Um, and they just looked very, very impressive. He scored three goals this season, all at home, they've all been wins. Yeah, I mean, this is. I mean, this is lovely from Honeyman. He, oh. he, uh, when we saw, first saw the clip, we actually thought it looked like a young Stephen Hunt <laughs> with the haircut. It's a magnificent head of hair. Very jealous of that. Uh, but uh, great finish from Doc, is he? <laughs> You're doing all right with her. Have you had a transplant? <laughs> did you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I know you did. Four points after a third straight win. Hull City climbed to second after their first win in a month. Sunderland stay 11th after their goalless draw. Jimmy Floyd, against Warnock's uh, advice, was in the stands, but his return not enough to inspire bottom club Burton, who slumped a, a fifth consecutive defeat. Bristol Rovers moved out of the relegation zone with that third win in four. Rochdale, who didn't play today, replaced them.